and welcome back to Vet Reviews with Doc Athena. Today, we are going to have a short discussion about canine diseases with some breed predilection. There are a lot, but I only included 10 in this lecture. So, now let's proceed. Number one, Bulldog. Bulldogs are predisposed to brachycephalic airway syndrome. This is common among bulldogs being a brachycephalic breed. Their anatomic features have a shortened skull, cause compression of the nasal passage and distortion of the pharyngeal tissue, resulting in increased airway resistance. The shorter the nose is, the more likely the condition will be worse. Number two, that's one. They are predisposed to IVDD or intervertebral disc disease. This condition occurs when there is damage in the intervertebral disc, a shock absorber placed between the vertebrae. This is sometimes called as a slipped disc. Dachshunds are predisposed in this condition because of their short legs and long back. The nucleus pulposus degenerates slowly, causing partial calcification due to water loss. This makes the outer casing of the disc more susceptible to cracks and fissures. In Dachshund, the disc is noted to degenerate quicker, about 3 to 7 years old, than most breeds, which is at 8 to 10 years old. Number 3 Dalmatian. Dalmatians are predisposed to deafness. Deafness is a partial or complete loss of hearing. Most studies would associate deafness with sensory neuronal reasons such as white coat color and blue eyes. This is related to the pigment cells distribution. These cells colonize the istria vascularis and were shown to play an important role in the development of the inner ear since they provide blood supply to it. Studies show also that absence of these pigments causes the generation of istria vascularis, which in effect causes death of sensory hair cells that are essential for hearing. As stated by Katanak in his report, the fewer the number and the more limited pigment cells spread, the greater the proportion of the coat locking the cells and appearing white. All the effects are attributed to the S gene. However, a study has conducted by Miskus and Distill evaluating ESPN, MYO3A, SLC26A5 and USH1C as candidates for hereditary non-syndromic deafness or congenital sensory neural deafness in Dalmatian dogs. Number 4. Doberman Pinscher. Doberman Pinscher are predisposed to Wobbler syndrome or caudal cervical spondylomyelopathy. Wobbler syndrome is caused by malformation of narrowing of the spinal cervical vertebrae. The condition may be hereditary for about greater than two years old. However, its genetic basis is still unclear. The disorder is also related to rapid growth rate, nutritional and or mechanical factors. Anatomical features such as long neck and large head has been associated also to displacement and deformity of the cervical vertebra. Rapid growth with hypercalcitonism causes the non-resorbed bone to pinch the growing spinal cord, therefore 
causing cervical spondylomyelopathy. Number five, St. Bernard. St. Bernard's are predisposed to GDV or gastric dilatation valvulus. GDV is a life-threatening condition in dogs in which the stomach dilates and twists around its central axis, which results in complex local and systemic pathologic and physiologic changes. There is no direct genetic predisposition confirmed. This is common among large, deep-chested breeds including St. Bernard. Dogs with high chest depth-to-width ratios have higher risk of bloating. Other risk factors involve frequency of eating, rate of ingestion, activity following ingestion of large quantities of food or water, any intense activity, or stress and erophagia. Number 6. Great Danes. Great Danes are predisposed to osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is a malignant neoplasm of the bone containing sarcomatous stroma and tumor osteoid. The disease has no proven inheritance. The size and rate of maturity may be more important than breeds or family. There is no known specific cause. However, in large and giant dogs such as Great Dane, osteosarcoma has high tendency to occur in major weight-bearing bones and late closing physis when subjected to multiple minor repeated trauma. Number 7. Boxer. Boxers are predisposed to acepromacin sensitivity. This drug is a tranquilizer that is commonly used as pre-anesthetic agent. In boxers, there is breed-related sensitivity to this drug thus causing first-degree, heart block, and profound hypotension. Adverse reactions can also occur, such as collapse, respiratory arrest, and profound bradycardia up to less than 60 bits per minute. Number 8. Poodles. Poodles are predisposed to sebaceous adenites. SA is a skin disease wherein sebaceous glands become inflamed and may eventually be destroyed, leading to progressive loss of hair. The cause is still unclear. However, the symptoms may be related to hair characteristic of this breed, wherein mismanagement could lead to irritation of the skin that may cause inflammation. Visible symptoms include scaling or excessive dandruff, hair loss, musty odor, and secondary skin infections. Number 9. German Shepherd. German Shepherds are predisposed to cauda equina syndrome. This is also called as lumbosacral stenosis, a neural condition causing low back pain. Hereditary predisposition have been linked to this disorder. However, genetic evidence is not yet clear. Meanwhile, other studies suggest that high level of physical activity of German shepherds causing early degeneration of lumbosacral disc, articular facets, and vertebral bodies could play a key role in the etiology of the disease. Number 10. Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are predisposed to hydrocephalus. This is an abnormal enlargement of the head due to accumulation of fluid. It is common among chihuahuas due to the unique skull anatomy having a molera, a soft spot in the skulls which fill in with age. That's all folks. I hope you remembered something from this vet review with Doc Athena.